Hey Journey Beans, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to come to y'all today and um, I don't know if some of y'all saw my video yesterday, but your girl was pissed, okay? <laughs> she was pissed. But I'm coming back to um, renew your strength and mine. Um, and with that said, my devotional, my morning manna for today was Wednesday, beware of faith killers. Okay, and my text was found in Matthew 14, 28, and it was, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Okay, because many of you know, um, yesterday I had a confrontation with someone on Facebook about testing for the virus, and I was like, don't do it, don't do it, and that really made somebody upset, and they took the time to go out on my page and um, and then come back and call me out and call me all kind of names outside of, you know, everything but the child of God. <laughs> um, I don't know if she is one or not. But anyway, um, this is um, today devotional was about, uh, you know, beware of the faith killers. And I'm going to read it and it's only going to take me a few minutes. So it says Satan doesn't want your stuff. He may target your health, your family or your finances. But those things are only open to help him reach his real goal. What Satan really wants is your faith. That's why we have to watch our faith killers like in activities. That's why we have to watch our faith killers like in activities, fear, and losing focus. And one of um, uh, one of my uh, YouTuber friends, a uh, creator, um, she brought to my attention on my um YouTube creator thing as she was responding to the video. She says, well, maybe, maybe Jay, she was speaking out of fear, you know, and, um, yeah, God just brings things back full circle. He really does. And I was like, yeah, I get that. But for her, her name call was, you know, but why should I expect any more out of, um, uh, someone that may not know Christ like I do. And so with that said, the rest of it says we can see all three of these faith killers at work in this story. As Jesus came walking through the storm, the disciples in activity killed their faith. Peter was the only disciple who activated his faith and was willing to step out on the water. Those who remained in the boat lost a chance to experience the power of faith. But their fear also dealt with faith in a death's blow. The disciples were afraid of the storm and their fear kept them from recognizing um, Jesus. While Peter activated his faith by stepping out on the water, lack of focus killed it. Peter's faith let him walk on the water with Jesus. But when he took his eyes off Jesus and looked at the storm, he started to sink. Um, so, you know what? That's what a lot of people are doing they trying to find ways through the government to kind of like cure their soul, you know, of this um, deadly, deadly. And I do take it serious um, virus that's out here and people are dying from it unexpectedly and symptoms are coming up each and every day. And so that's why I was so nervous. I was like, go get tested when things are coming up every day that we don't even know about. And so um, you want to tell me something else is in my body now? It could have been there all along. And I didn't know about it. And I'm living life um, as well as I was living life. Um, so, but anyway, back to the, you know, ending of the story. And it said that uh, fear, inactivity, and lack of focus killed the disciples' faith. Be on guard that they don't kill yours. And the three faith killers to avoid are one, inactivity. Act on your faith if you want it to grow. Two, fear. Find courage in Jesus' nearness. Three, lack of focus. Fix your eyes on Jesus and don't look away. So inactivity, fear, and lack of focus are the three faith killers to avoid. Okay. And the takeaway from this is avoid faith killers by fixing your eyes on Jesus. So that is where I'm going to go back with my focus. I'm going to go back on, on Jesus because you know what, y'all? Oh, I was ready to uh, really give her a piece of my mind, and I'm going to say it wasn't well, going to be Christ-like. <laughs> so, you know, I struggle, too, with um, uh, the flesh daily, as we all do. And as the Bible says we are, but you can't let it control you out of fear. Um, so my plea to you today is to be active in your faith, um, meaning trust in God and um, 
it also means be wise, take care of yourself. Um, do those things that you need to do that work for you, okay? Don't let other people influence how you perceive Christ, how you perceive your faith, how you do whatever you do. Um, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Um, there's freedom of speech and you can say what you want. But the most important thing is to keep your eyes on Jesus so you don't sink. Okay? That is my Wednesday word for today. Today. That's my Wednesday word for today, you guys. I hope you have a great Wednesday. I am thinking about going live maybe Friday evening. Uh, hopefully, maybe some of y'all could join me. Let me know in the comments below if you want to do a live on Friday. Um, and let me know what time y'all think works for you guys, okay? Because I'm available. But um, love you guys. Thanks for allowing me to share um, my morning manner with you. And... Um, all praises be to God. Give him the glory. And remember, Mindful Mondays, reflect how you are going to reflect Jesus in your day-to-day -day walk. So it is Wednesday, and this is my platform, and this is how I am reflecting Jesus today. So thank you for being listening ears. Thank you for the responses that came back to me. It made me rethink, you know, well, this, that, and the other. So sometimes I need to be checked, too. <laughs> But thank you for checking me in a loving way as I intended on checking her in a loving way. I tried to, and then I just had to leave it alone. So, um, because, uh, this one was trying to come out. This one was there and she said some things in a nice way, but this one, y'all, she was trying to come out. Y'all heard it. She came out a little bit in that video I did yesterday. But, um, yeah, so I, I think I did that to kind of like vent so I could get it off my chest and just let it go and leave it alone and turn it over to Jesus. So once again, y'all, thank you for listening to me again. Do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for someone else. Hashtag all things such as life. And remember to love your fabulous self. Thank you. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Share it out, y'all. Do all those special things that y'all do. Okay, and don't forget to like this video by thumbsing it up. And leave a comment below. Bye, y'all. Thanks for listening.